right, we are under a weather alert for this afternoon for the potential for flash flooding, even a few strong to severe storms, which we've already had so far today. Uh, let's work our way north here. We're going to start to the south just a bit. You'll notice a few cells starting to uh, really blossom up here just west of St. Charles, be moving into Pueblo. Those are sub severe storms. Most of our uh, energy now is coming right from the south and traveling north along I-25 and the foothills. Uh, we've got a few storms that have also been uh, starting to develop just around Cimarron Hill, around Platt and Powers. Those locations getting doused with some heavy rain. Uh, now you're looking at some of these storms that are all starting to uh, kind of gel together, if you will. A storm just west of Fountain is actually uh, going to be moving into Fountain over the next five to seven minutes. So if you're joining us around Lorison Ranch, you've got a nice little outflow boundary that's moving through. Uh, so you're probably seeing those winds increase outside your window right now. It's getting a little bit cooler. Uh, that boundary is going to be the focal point for new storm development. Uh, so some of these storms are going to be shifting uh, just along uh, Squirrel Creek. Creek Road and just along a Mark Sheffel Road over the next 10 to 15 minutes. As we work our way north, you'll notice that uh, it's off and on showers here, heavy rain, and then we get into the possibility of a little bit of hail here just south of Shirley. Uh, you'll notice just around Highway 24. Now this is a sub severe storm right now. It's not been severe warned. Of course, a lot of lightning where that purple is showing up. Possibility of a little bit of pea sized hail uh, just moving east now uh, of Powers Boulevard. We still have a flash flood warning that's in effect uh, just around Eastonville, uh, just west of Peyton until 7 p.m. from the heavy rain from this thunderstorm that's still moving just east of Peyton right now. So it's been very slow moving, even a little bit of golf ball size hail reported with this storm. It was previously severe warned. It's been allowed to expire. In fact, they may warn this storm again as it moves a little bit closer to Calhan. It looks like this was moving north then you'll notice this outflow boundary moving through. See that little thin green line? Uh, possibility that that's kind of helping to steer that storm now to the east. So heads up for Calhan and the possibility of some large hail there over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Storm moving just outside of Woodland Park is sub severe. Not much to worry about there. Let's take you to our headline graphic here and talk about the rest of the week ahead. That monsoon flow has returned in full force. It's going to lead to daily storms this week and flood watch in effect until midnight tonight. That high pressure, as it has shifted, it's allowed that flow to return across New Mexico and right across southern Colorado. So a lot of moisture rich storms this week and very slow moving at that. As we shift into this evening, notice at 9 p.m., possibility will still be contending with heavy rain in central and northern areas of El Paso County, Teller County, and the Palmer Divide. And then east of Pueblo, uh, those storms will start to dissipate and fall apart closer to about 11 p.m. this evening. So our storms will die down, but it's going to be a lot later, so you can still expect some evening storms. Model is pointing at a few rain showers in Monument tomorrow morning, and then as we recover for, through the afternoon and get a bit more instability, we're looking at heavy rain pushing through between three and 7 p.m. right along I-25 and parts of the Eastern Plains and possibility of heavy ponding on the roads, especially in the Southeastern Plains tomorrow. It's going to be noticeably cooler because of that cloud cover, the rain cooled air, not a lot of heating taking place and that high pressure moving to the south is also helping to relax our temperatures just a bit. 73 in Canyon City tomorrow, 70s and 80s here across the Southeastern Plains. High probability for precipitation for Woodland Park through the next 48 hours. Hours, Tuesday and Wednesday especially. We get a brief break in the widespread activity Thursday, but it still means we'll still have some isolated activity after 3 p.m. And it does look like some heavy rain ahead for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So higher terrain areas, possibly an active pattern for the next several consecutive days. Canyon City 73 tomorrow, 81 on Wednesday, gradually warming back up into the middle 80s for the latter half of the work week. So nice and cool for the next couple of days, but that heavy rain threat is going to stay with us through really the work week. Back to you guys. Mary, thank you. Taking a look at the roads right now. This is showing you the rain coming down on the east side of town right now. This is Powers and Palmer Park Boulevard. It's pretty slow in the 